amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy and today I'm going to show you how to cook chicken in a mustard sauce. It's one of those recipes that I am certain you will keep coming back to it once you try it. And it may sound a bit French and probably it was in origin, but in Spain we do it a little bit different. But without further ado, let me show you how to make it, what you need and you will find out. We're going to need Spanish onion, a head of garlic, some tender stem broccoli, button mushrooms, Dijon mustard, single cream, cognac or Spanish brandy, white wine, salt, pepper, new potatoes, good Spanish extra virgin olive oil, some fresh oregano, dried bay leaves and a whole chicken. We're going to start by cutting the chicken into pieces, but I'm not going to run you through it as the images are self-explanatory. So I'm going to tell you a few other tips about this dish. The first being that comes without saying that you can use an already quartered chicken. You can buy it in a tray in a supermarket. And my recommendation for that is that you use chicken legs, chicken thighs, chicken drumsticks, which are a lot more moist and they will really benefit from the stewing. Chicken breasts are a little too dry. As well, you will see me cooking in a minute with a very large clay terracotta pot, which is my favorite for this type of rustic dishes, but you can use any pot you want. And the last and third is that other than this Spanish onion that I'm slicing, and as you can see, I'm just turning this head of garlic into cloves with the skin on, there is no more prep to do, so incredibly easy. Let's start by heating the frying pan of the pot into its highest heat, pouring the extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to sear our chicken skin side down with a little bit of seasoning for a good 10 minutes on each side or whatever it takes until it's well brown. Set your chicken aside and add your Spanish onion, garlic cloves, and the mushrooms. And again, cook them for a good 10, 15 minutes until they are nice and golden. At that point, add your fresh oregano, the bay leaves, put your chicken back in and season with a lot of black pepper. And now we're going to flambe with the cognac. You don't have to flambe, but make sure if you do, you remove your face and hands from the top of the pan. And now deglaze with the white wine bring it to the boil and start adding the mustard. Be as generous as you like, depending on, on how much you like it. And, and look, you can add a bit more mustard later on if you prefer to have a bit more mustard. Now, add your uh, chicken stock, which is an ingredient I forgot to mention at the beginning, excuse me. And we are gonna let it simmer slowly for 45 minutes at least on the lowest heat. I'm preparing a cartouche with some parchment paper. As you can see, I folded over one center part to make sure that I make a perfect round, cut a little uh, piece in the middle and cover it just so it makes sure that it breathes. And just let it simmer very, very slowly for 45 minutes so the potatoes are cooked. At this point, we're going to add our tender stem broccoli, which is not part of the recipe, but I wanted to make a one pot wonder, a one pot meal. Hence the potatoes are there as well and the broccoli, but as you know, it takes five minutes to cook. So just drizzle with your single cream, taste the seasoning and let it simmer for the last five minutes until it's ready. Amigos, this looks like the type of dish that I like the most, I have to say. Let me try the sauce a little bit, as it's going to be dinner in a second for my family. Mmm, so rich, so full of flavour, not very mustardy, I have to say. It's not like the French, you know, and the fact that it's not done with butter, it's not done with as much cream, and it's not done with as much ma with as much mustard, excuse me. Uh, I think it makes it a bit more elegant and not refined, but certainly healthier and cleaner. I hope you give it a try. Please share it with your friends if you enjoy it. Uh, share it with me on social media, particularly on Instagram. Come to my restaurants if you want to try this type of food on the flesh, or you can buy my book, Tapas Revolution, a Spanish made simple online. See you on the next video, familia, and stay well. 
Adiós. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.